Hey guys! So, kind of like a formal setup, usually when I want to chat about something. So, today I am, well, I was supposed to be going and having my implant or implanon or what's this one that I've got in? It's called a nexplanon, is what I've got in at the moment. That is um, coming towards its end of life at the end of this month. So I'm having that removed. So um, I have made the executive decision to not have any more hormonal based contraception. I feel like I have been on hormonal contraception for a very long string of my life. So I started taking the contraceptive pill when I was about 16. I've only ever been allowed to have a progesterone only method of contraception um, because when my mum was younger and she took the combined pill, um, she got a deep vein thrombosis from that at the age of 19 and it was very severe and she was very, very lucky to have survived that. So um, with that family history in mind, they won't let me take a pill with oestrogen in it so I've only ever been able to have progesterone only methods of contraception so that would be um, the mini pill which is the one that you take for 28 days and don't have a break you just carry on taking it and taking it and taking it and taking it you don't stop to have a break um, but you still do have a period they do become quite irregular um, you can get spotted in between them there's a lot of problems as with lots of different types of contraception um so i started taking that when i was about 16 years old and um was very bad at taking it i always used to forget to take it i used to go and stay over my friend's house forget to take it or i used to be out for a meal forget to take it um and then you know you're running the risk of like pregnancy it's not that i ever did get pregnant thankfully but you know yeah i was very bad at remembering to take it regardless of with if I uh, put a reminder on my phone or anything like that it just wasn't working for me so I was on and off that for a good couple of years until I moved to Birmingham I think so when I moved to Birmingham I was about maybe 18 or 19 maybe 19 years old yeah and then I decided right I've had enough of the pill now I need to change to something else so I had the contraceptive injection which they put in your bum, um, in your butt cheek. So I was on that um, for about two years. So every three months you get um, a jab in your bum and it lasts for three months and then you go back to the doctors and they jab you in the opposite butt cheek. It's numb for about three days afterwards. And then, so that, that worked really well for me. That completely stopped my periods. I didn't have a period for over two years, which was awesome that was great uh, saved loads of money on like tampons and pads etc um, that was really really good um, but you're only allowed to be on the contraceptive injection for X amount of time apparently because I've heard that it can start thinning your bones if you were to carry it on for any longer than that so after that I went on the implant so I had the implant inserted um and i ran that for its three-year course and then after that um babies were on the horizon um i met holly's father and instantly fell pregnant ridiculously quickly with him I'd, I'd only known him for like a month and i fell pregnant um as you all know things didn't work out with that la 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 but i have this beautiful baby Holly who's now not a baby she's three years old so after my pregnancy and after giving birth you're allowed to go back on a method of contraception maybe about five or six weeks after that I think if you're breastfeeding of which I was so I had another implant put back in this is a different branded one it's the same concept it's just a different brand um, and this also lasts for three years so this is due for removal on the 24th of this month so we are now on the 6th of June. So I've decided that from the age of 16, uh, apart from my pregnancy, up until the age of 29, I have been on a hormonal-based, a synthetic hormonal-based type of 
contracept contraception. Um, I feel like that's that's t it's time time enough now. Time I'm going to call time on that. I still want to be protected though. I don't want to be having um, a risk of pregnancy. Um, I don't want to be in a situation again where I've met somebody and I want to fall pregnant really, really quickly. I've done that once. I have to learn from that. Not that I regret anything about Holly. She's amazing. But um, if I had my time again, I probably would maybe do things a bit differently because it's not ideal um, falling pregnant after meeting somebody for one month. Um, but it is what it is, it's done, and now I have a beautiful child and I would never ever change her for the world, that's not what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, synthetic hormones. Do I really know what I am like as an adult um, without pumping synthetic hormones into my body on a daily, three monthly or three yearly basis? No. Uh, 16 I was when I started taking it, I'm now 29, so we're talking about, what's that, 13 years, bar the pregnancy, so 12 years of pumping hormones into my body. So I have decided to go for the coil. Now there are two types of coil. You can get a hormone based one, which lasts for three or five years, and then you can get a copper coil, which I believe is called an IUD, I think. Um, so the copper coil is the one that can last for up to 10 years. So basically, it's just a tiny little T bar that's inserted into your lady parts, into your, into your womb, and um, it makes it a very hostile environment for a pregnancy to take place. So sperm meets copper, meh, doesn't like it, and um, it doesn't allow for the lining of the womb to build up to a strong enough stable position for a fertilized egg if the sperm was to have um, fertilized egg to attach it. So it might like attach and then the wall would break down, it wouldn't be strong enough and then you'd pass and have a period. So that is what I am going for this time round. Um, I have heard lots of horror stories about the copper coil. I have heard lots of negative things. They make your periods heavier, irregular. I have irregular periods anyway. It's something that I've dealt with since the age of whenever I started having periods, maybe about 16 years old. So that's not news to me. That's something that I've had to deal with ever since I started having periods. They've never been... A regular thing I might have maybe like three or four which seem like they're becoming regular and then it will just go completely off course again and I'll have a period that lasts like for a month or so which is just crazy and then I won't have a period for the next two months and then I'll have a normal period and then I'll come off and then a week later I'll have another normal period so it, 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 do you know what I mean it's like um it's really hit and miss so that's something that i've just come to terms with my body doesn't like being regular um it's you know i can't i can't control it it's not something i can control so that doesn't really phase me the irregular periods thing doesn't that doesn't bother me at all but yeah so let's give this a go but i was supposed to be having anyway today i was supposed to be having the implant removed and then the copper coil inserted on the same day, um, but they just called me and uh, the lady who had booked me in for this appointment has accidentally booked me into the wrong clinic. So I'm still going today to have my implant removed and then I've got to go back in on Thursday to have the copper coil inserted. So that is um, a little insight for all of you about the type of contraception that I use. I feel like contraception is a one of those it's kind of a taboo subject. You don't really talk about it publicly. It's something that I've always talked about with my friends. Not really something I talked about with my parents, unfortunately, which is a shame. I don't want Holly to ever feel like um, how I felt 
um, around the subjects of contraception and sex. So in my family, it was kind of like a taboo. We couldn't really talk about it or I didn't feel comfortable talking about it. I always sort of went to my friends and my friend's parents for more advice or, you know, good old Google as you do. But I feel like contraception needs to be talked about more freely. It shouldn't be a, sh a subject that you shy away from because then that's how you end up with, you know, STIs, unwanted pregnancies, which is the right contraception for me, what works. If you've got an abundance of information so you can make a well-informed choice before um, you even start talking to other people about it, then that's got to be a good thing, hasn't it? So that's why I've decided to come here today to sort of spread my thoughts and feelings and how contraception has worked and not worked for me in the past. So yeah, let's go and get this thing taken out of me and I will come back to you. I doubt anything will change within the next couple of days. And then I'll come back to you on Thursday, probably with another contraception talk. So, and the postman just came. So anyway, now I've got to go and pick up Dollface from school. So I shall catch up with you later. Bye. Hey guys. So I'm all back from the hospital now. And the implant has been taken out of my arm. So it was a really pain-free experience. They just like inject you with some anaesthetic, wait for that to sort of kick in, then make a little incision and then pull the thing out. The whole process was a lot quicker this time round um, from when I had my first one taken out, but then I had a trainee taking it out the first time, so I think it took her a little bit longer because, as, as it would, because she didn't really know what she was doing as such. So I have kept the implant on because I wanted to show you all what it looked like, just in case you didn't know. So this is it. It's just like a piece of rubbery type of plastic. Um, it's really bendy and it's a shorter than a bobby pin or a hair clip or whatever you want to call it. So that is the thing that has blocked the baby for three years. So this is a progesterone only method of contraception. So if you're looking for that and you are bad at taking the pill or you feel like the pill would not be suitable for you because you're really forgetful and unorganized, then this is a really good option for you because you stick it in and then you don't have to worry about it for another three years. So I think the only drawback I had from this is the irregular period thing, but then I think you're gonna go and get that on all types of contraception um, and even if you're not on any contraception, I think you can still have irregular periods. So that's, I think that's just something that I've become okay with over the last 13 years of having periods. They've been irregular. I've been doing that for 13 years now. So I'm cool with that. I'm down with that. I'm down with the trumpets, I'm down with the kids. So yeah. And then on Thursday, I will be having the copper coil inserted and I will come back to you and tell you all about that as well. So, yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here for today. It's going to be a purely contraception vlog. So I hope you all enjoyed and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye.